So of our fall season. Hello, let's give it up. Yeah, all right. Everything's gonna be dedicated to you right there. Yes. Um, we're very excited to be back. It was a really, really exciting summer. Uh, five countries, France, Italy, Amsterdam, which isn't actually a country, I know that, it's Holland. <laughs> uh, Finland and Estonia. So um, we have a cultural overload, a lot of exciting things. But now we're back and we are live at The Joint on Myrtle, which Woo! used to be, which one to throw out, it used to be Murder Avenue when I moved to this neighborhood. And now, it's a, exactly, it's a nice place you want to go and like take your kids and your dogs and everything. So we want to thank them for letting us in to their beautiful space. I've got Sean Kershaw here. Woohoo! All right, he's gonna, we're gonna do some songs and then he's gonna do some songs and we're gonna just get right to it. So, without further ado, can I get my... to be back. So like I said, we were in five countries over the summer. Um, it was a whirlwind and um, nothing like coming home though. Coming back to New York City, America, I guess I say that because I don't want them to kick me out really. But um, so we decided that some of the songs that we're going to do tonight, they're very Americana, something a little bit of a country twang, a little rock and roll and R&B. 
So um, that is the feel for this evening. We also have a lot of other great shows. I wish they would just come in instead of peeking in the door. It's like just they're come. dancing out there. Oh, they're dancing. All right, well, we have dancers too. Well, first of all, I do want to just say thank you to Tanya and Taryn. TNT, Woo! you guys are dynamite. No, seriously. <laughs> Put on pump. Don't worry, I'm not quitting my day job. <laughs> um, wait, what was I going to talk about? Well, I have a funny story for you guys. I was going to save it for later, but you know what? I'm going to do it now. So one of the places that I went was Venice, Italy. Have you guys ever been there? Come on, yeah. Venice is here for Venice. All right, no. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you that they have very strong marble stairs there. And I know this because yours truly slipped and fell into the canal. <laughs> Who does that? I did. This is why I'm, I'm like representing America. They're like, you know what? Just don't come back anymore. Seriously. Um, it was not really my fault. I wasn't drunk. Believe it or not, I know, it's crazy. Um, the Pope made me do it. No, I was trying to take a picture. As we know, you always want to get that perfect shot, and there were four stairs. No handrails, no nothing, but I was like, you know what, I can just go stand right on the edge of the stair, take the picture, and it'll be amazing. <laughs> so I walked down the stairs, and when I got to the third stair, my foot slipped. And bam, I went down. So I learned a couple things. One, I have a really strong ass. <laughs> Number two, they have really strong stairs. So um, we did escape. My friend actually was there. He was right behind me. He didn't hear me because I'm tough and I didn't scream. Um, I basically just went down very gracefully. Bam, and then I didn't go all the way in, just in case you're wondering, so I don't know what it tastes like, the water. But I was submerged from here down. My feet got stuck in the bottom. There's like sand and disgusting and sludge and probably dead bodies. Hopefully I didn't step on any of them. I don't know what's buried down under there. Um, but I did, I got myself up and it was like, I was like brown. I was, of course I was wearing a white dress, of course, as well. I was completely brown from here down. And my friend ran, got some bottles of water, washed me off. Um, and then after the whole ordeal, I got myself as clean as I could. We went back to the place, he got the bottles of water and ironically, they were a wine shop that was selling wine straight out of the barrel. So what do you do after you fall in the canal and you have three liters of water that have you used up? You fill it up with wine. So for like two euros a bottle, we had that and I had to buy a dress, which is actually not the worst thing that could happen. Um, bought a dress and then went about our evening. But um, I'm surprised it wasn't on the Venice Tonight <laughs> News or anything. But yeah, so now you know you can say you know someone that actually fell in the canal. And I also am here to say it is just as disgusting as everybody might think it is. It's really gross. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions about the black sludge? I had to throw my one dress away. I was really upset about that. But um, another favorite thing that I saw, I did go to Vatican City in Rome, and they sell a priest of the month calendar. Yes, isn't that crazy? I think what I'm really getting at here is I probably need to go back to Italy. Yes. What do you think, yes. right? All right. So, um, Sean, how's it going over there with you? You almost? Uh, I need a couple minutes. All right. Well, actually, we do have a new bit that I'm going to be adding this season uh, for you all. It is called Etiquette. Edit, kit, etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. Um, I do have, I'm very, I am one who appreciates good etiquette, and so I'm taking it upon myself because I was raised very well by my mom. And if you're watching, this is an ode to you, mom. So uh, are you, you're leaving us. Hi. Thank you for coming. Oh, that. that's where I'm from. What? Right on, man. Cool, well, I'll see you then. Okay, look at the sign. Yeah, Copy it down. Copy it down. Come check you out. Come check us to out. To be continued. To be continued. All right, have a safe trip. Okay, this is why we love live broadcasts. Um, so, each episode we're going to have like good tips for good etiquette. The first one uh, that I'm going to say, and these all come from things because we have friends who maybe don't do the right thing, we don't really know how to approach it, so I started an anonymous Twitter for things that got on my nerves. So, this is your etiquette tip for today. When you are invited to someone's house for a party, a dinner party, a get together, a wine, whatever it is. Whatever you're invited for, you must, <laughs> must, must, must offer to bring something. You must like make that effort. They might say, oh, you know what, don't worry about it. 
but you have to offer. And the reason that I said that is because I have people for, over for dinner a lot, and I'm not gonna mention these Pacific band that come over a lot to my house for dinner, but every time I invited them, they just showed up empty-handed. And you know what? That's really tacky. <laughs> That's really tacky. If someone's inviting you to their home or whatever, you must offer to bring something, even if they say no. God, don't ever show up empty-handed. I think that's really what I'm getting at here. It's a good tip. Yes. Yeah. Just so everybody knows that, don't ever show up empty-handed. Did you have a question? Oh. Yes, you right there, beautiful woman. Yes, I was just going to recommend that flowers. When in doubt, yeah. flowers, flowers are a great offering. Flowers. It makes your host feel so. Yes. You know, happy. It'll get you invited back. It'll get yes. you invited right. back. Right. Flowers is a good etiquette tip. Flowers are great. Wine, alcohol is always a good thing. <laughs> a box of chocolates. Anything, you know? It's like, just don't show up empty-handed. Especially when they're like feeding you lots of food, you know? That's what I gotta say. So, anyway, if you have any other etiquette questions, you can always reach me at Ms. Stephanie at Hotmail. Please send me your etiquette questions. You, you, you're going, you know, away for a weekend and you don't know what to take or you don't know what to pack. I don't know. Let me know. All right, you know. <laughs> I can't believe we rock and rolled so hard that Sean broke the string. I know, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's a first here. It is a lot of firsts happening here. A lot of firsts. The acoustics in here are totally awesome. Really amazing. Yeah. Well, let's see. God, normally I can just talk for hours, right? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, while, 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 while I'm tuning, I'll tell you my own convenience story about that. Yeah, please do. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I'm going to look completely detached from the audience because I'm going to be looking at my tuner while I'm telling this story. Should I move? Can you hear me? Can you hear me out there? Hello, America. <laughs> this thing on? Um, Actually, you should say hello, Finland. There's people out there. Hello, Finland! Woohoo! We love you. All right. We love you. So I just got to adjust this string, and while I'm doing that, I'll tell you that I did grow up Catholic. And, you know, so I did get communion more or less sanctioned eventually. I'm so jealous. <laughs> eventually. Well, you got to jump through some hoops, you know, it doesn't just happen. So, uh, but when I was like real little, and I think my dad was actually in the war at the time, um, so I'd, I'd go to church with my mom and her friend. And, you know, by and by, a little like two or three year old me starts noticing that everybody's getting up at one point in the service and lining up and getting the priest is giving them something out of the basket. Yeah. You know, I'm like, you oh, wow, they're like wine and girl. They must be lining up for candy. I mean, what else could they <laughs> What else would they be giving out? So by and by, you know, I start, I'm, I'm watching this whole thing, and by and by I notice that the priest, before he does that, he takes like a whole big bowl of this stuff and puts it down on the altar, like right in front of him. And I'm like, hmm. So I pop out of the pew and go running up the aisle. <laughs> oh, and I start God. cramming these things into my face as fast as I can. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the whole church the whole church just erupted in chaos. <laughs> and uh, That's not I just remember my, my mom's friend taking little me. I'm like, you know, this high. And she's like, look, the priest is mad. Like, I look up and there's this priest just like. Laser beams coming out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, man, I'm full. So. He, he was a priest that was not featured in the calendar. <laughs> exactly. All right, what are we doing? Walking up. Now we're, now we're back to our All right. technical difficulties. Technical difficulties have been uh, resumed. Not resumed. What is the word? Resolved. Resolved. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. You know what key we're in? Are we doing the uh, walking after midnight? We sure are. Can't okay. see. All right. Y'all know this one, I'm sure. So, this is one of my favorite artists. She's from Virginia. This is the grown, down Hello. home, grown home show. Here we go. Homegrown. All right, here we go. Oh, am I starting? Oh, that's right. I'm starting. I'm doing that little kickoff. Can we talk about this? <laughs> I go out walking after midnight out in the moon. Just like we used to do I'm always walking after midnight Searching for you I 
walk for miles along the highway Well, that's just my way of saying I love you I'm always walking after midnight searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me And as the skies turn gloomy And night winds whisper to me I'm lonesome as I can be I go out walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just hoping you may be somewhere I'm walking after midnight Searching for me I stop to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. And as the skies turn gloomy and night winds whisper to me, I'm lonesome as I can be. I go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight, just hoping you may be somewhere I'm walking. After midnight, searching for me. Awesome. Thank you. Now, I would like to turn the mic over to Sean. He's going to do, well, let me just tell you a little bit about Sean, because he's amazing. And he has a band called the New Jack Ramblers. And we've got a couple of his CDs. I'm going to bring them up. I don't want to knock everything over. Here we go. You can find all of his stuff online at www.seankershaw.com. That's www.s-e-a-n-k-e-r-s-h-a-w.com. So, he's got a few dates coming up. Let me tell you about them. Wednesday, the 29th at Bar Court, out in Ditmas. Saturday, November 8th at Connolly's Corner uh, in Math Bus, Queens. And Friday, November 14th at the Beast of Bourbon, which is right up the street on Myrtle. You might see a female singer that you recognize maybe at one of those gigs, possibly. Um, and he's also taken off to go to perform in Alaska in January. What? How awesome is that? And he's debuting two new songs here tonight. So you guys, give it up for Sean. Thank you so much, Finland. <laughs> Hang on. We also have England and France. England and France. And Italy. But then we have Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the house. Brooklyn in the house. All right. That's why we like it. All right. A little departure from my usual uh, country stuff. Country stuff I'm known for. Let's play some music from a different country. Nice. One in my mind. Queens? Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs>
when I sing another song, I'll be doing some yeah. interview footage. Uh, what do we got here? All right. I'm gonna lose the drum. Maybe I can keep the drum for this I like that. Practice. Yeah, really All right, this one, this one I just, well, I can't even say that I finished it, but I just got to the point where I can, uh, you know, let it out of its cage, as it were.
Sure. Whatever you want. Alright. Do something, uh, do something somebody else wrote. How about that? Like who? Oh wait, are we calling out what you want to suggest? Uh, you could. You could. That was a rhetorical question. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, unless I think of, you know, unless I think of something by myself first. I know too many songs, I start getting confused. <laughs> I'll do something else I wrote. Something off the first CD. Yeah. But then you would think, right? Like, yeah. I really want to 
want to do this? Why is money crying? Well, I feel like I'm better at this than, you know, all that other stuff. Right, that right, right, of course. You know, so, this. But anyways, yes, keeping it going is balance, you know, kind of the old balance of the day job kind of thing. Except that I have to know.
right. He's a professional tuner. Well, actually, I want to give actually, a shout out to England, Berlin, France, Brussels, Finland, LA, Baltimore, Virginia, and Atlanta. What's up, all those places? We're glad that you guys tuned in. We're happy to see you. We also hope we have a great show next month, November, I believe it's 16th. We have Jorge and Oates. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be an amazing show, and I know this already because they do, um, there's another band you might have heard of also called Hall and Oates. It's like a Hall and Oates cover band, Four Hay and Oates. They're really, really awesome. And I almost don't want to give it away, but there's something very special in the place that I, don't, I can't, I shouldn't mention it, I should wait. Yeah, I can't mention it. You guys have to tune in to know what the special thing at our next location is. Um, all right, so you red eye. Do you know what key we're in? Do I don't even know what song we're in. Oh, everybody. <laughs> it's always, I like to keep everybody guessing all the time. Mm -hmm. How do you start? Oh, I guess that's I remember because I don't know what it's is that D? Oh. People get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage. You just get on board. All you need is faith to hear your diesels are humming. You don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. Yeah.
go and comb your hair. Honey, I'm a snowball, Jackson. <laughs> See if I can. Well, when I breathe into that city, people gonna stick their bow. Ha! All the pretty women gonna make me show them what they don't know. To believe in this 
living is just a hard way to go. When I was a younger, I had me a cowboy. He wasn't much to look at. He was a rambling man. But that Flies from Montgomery Make me a poster Of an old rodeo Just give me one thing Yeah, that I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to go There's flies in the kitchen I can hear them, they're buzzing And I ain't done nothing since I woke up today But how the hell can a person, yeah Go to work in the morning To come home in the evening with nothing to say Flies from Montgomery Make me a poster Of an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to To believe in this and living Is just a hard way to go Make me an angel Make me an angel Thank you all. See you next time.